Uh, hiking meditation. I think we've heard of the idea that intelligence is velocity. It's the velocity difference between uh, the wisdom or the intelligence or the information we have and our actions or our behavior changes that are associated and informed by that new information. And that's really it, right? So if you, you learn something, but you don't learn from it, you don't change what you're doing, and you keep learning that lesson over and over again, that's low intelligence, right? So that's an easy thing. And a metaphor that occurred to me while I was taking a hike was that intelligence and gravity are the same thing. There's a velocity in those, right? And, and finding happiness is when you find that equilibrium, that surface. So gravity is a velocity towards, uh, you know, the ground. And, you know, when you're, when you're free floating, when you're in the air, when you're falling down, there is a great amount of dis-ease, right? There's, there's a, it's a difficult time finding joy, finding happiness in that because, well, <laughs> you're rushing towards the ground. And I think anyone you ask, uh, when they're rushing towards the ground, when they're not in a place that they want to be, they find themselves to be, um, you know, anxious. They find themselves to be unhappy. They don't have a sense of purpose because there's nothing for them to hold on to. So a lot of us seek balance, right, in, in opposition to that. And in seeking that balance, sometimes what we, we, we lack is what we're trying to do is float like we are in space. But we are not aliens. We are not space creatures. Uh, we, we, we require more than just floating in the air. And if you ask any astronaut, that's not the way to be is, uh, is you know, floating around. So some people will find that for short periods of time, they'll get themselves high uh, metaphorically or chemically or physically. And it's temporary because then they have to return back down to the surface, right? And the, the, I guess the, the, the outtake or the, uh, the, uh, the wisdom that I gained was that a lot of life is like the same way, right? It, it's the same thing is that, it's not so much that you want to find balance is that you need that constant pressure and something to push against it uh you know a sense of purpose in order to be happy and then you can thrive if you have that pressure you have something to push against otherwise you're just floating around sure you can kind of wiggle around but eventually you know you realize you're not making any progress so uh intelligence is like gravity you know and uh, and that you know, if we're on the ground and we're getting, we're being, we're pushing against the ground, and we found the surface, and we don't choose to walk, we don't choose to run, we don't go for a hike, we don't uh, ambulate, we find ourselves to be unhappy. If we just sit around, you know, moaning that the ground is coming at us and it's pushing against our faces, um, we'll be unhappy. So, you know, I guess that's the. Uh, you know, and looking at your purpose in life, keep in mind that what you want to do is you want to find a place where you are challenged constantly, where you, there's something fighting back against you, where, um, and, and I mean that challenge in like a direct way, where you feel like what you're trying to do is difficult. The things that you do are not easy. The things that in order for you to make progress, you have to move against that pressure. There we go, right? Easy enough meditation. All right. Uh, be intelligent. All right. Learn from the lessons that you are provided. And I imagine we are provided quite a few of those lessons. So don't, uh, don't bemoan your lessons. Uh, take them on. Thanks for watching the Buffalo Ranger on the walk hike, doing a little meditation.